So it's round five for the iPad, but this isn't just any ordinary iPad update. It has a brand new name and everything. It's called the new iPad Air. And it's been given this Air moniker simply because you are now looking at the lightest full-size tablet in the world. Yes, in the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's now 7.5 millimeters thin. That's 20% thinner than before. It's downsized from 1.4 pounds to a surprising and quite impressive one pound. So very, very light. In fact, the minute you pick it up, you can't help but notice the difference in weight and how comfortable it fits in your hands. On the screen front, you're looking at the same 9.7 inch retina display. So everything is just as beautiful and as detailed as it is on the iPad 4. Now, those of you who have an iPad 4 may notice that the bezel is slightly smaller. In fact, it's 43% thinner than before, giving you more screen real estate. So it's better for viewing pictures, videos, movies, and that kind of thing. Now on the performance front, we're looking at the same A7 processor found in the iPhone 5S. So we're looking at supercharged graphics, 72 times better graphics than the original iPad, two times better graphics than the iPad 4, and two times faster performance. So all in all, we're looking at huge improvements, not only to the inside, but also to the outside as well. And we think you'll agree, this could very well prove to be the most popular 9.7 inch iPad yet. It is that nice. And before I go, I just want to let you know it's also packing a front-facing FaceTime HD camera. It's also available in white, black, silver, and the new fabulous Space Gray. Prices start from $499, and it's yours as of the 1st of November. So a new iPad with a new name, getting a very early thumbs up from Stuff. Now, if you haven't already seen our iPad Mini 2 hands-on video review, make sure you check that out. And as ever, don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to click.